you saw Norma Anderson in the household pet finals with some of her pets. Now let's talk to her about another activity that she has related to the pin that she's wearing. Norma, tell me about this yellow sock. Okay, this, this is a yellow sock pin that is, everyone who is a member of the Yellow Sock Society has one. The Yellow Sock Society is a society that was started for household pet people in the Northwest uh, in parts of Canada. And when I was out there for an annual three years ago, I picked up on the theme and brought it back to our North Central region. Uh, the Yellow Sox Society is for only household pet people, and household pet people have a great camaraderie of cheering each other on and, and wishing the best for their pets. Uh, on Sunday afternoons, a lot of times, a club will do a best of the best for Yellow Sox. And when they do a best of the best, uh, sometimes the cat that wins it is going to go down to the last ring because they're separated by such few points. And the exhibitors get so excited sometimes that they dance around a little bit. And if they're wearing yellow socks, can you get them? No one will know if they have an accident. And that's what the Yellow Sock Society is all about. Um, and what about this doll? The doll, uh, what we do is we pick one judge on Sunday to induct into our Yellow Sock Society. She gets a pin, her own pair of yellow socks, which she must wear when she judges household pets. And then she gets 10 yellow sock dolls that are made for the club by me to depict the theme of their show. And then she hands these 10 yellow sock dolls out to the top 10 household pets in her ring. And I see that this is the Etoile du Nord Etoile yellow Nord, sock yes. doll. Right. They're the star of the north, and the yellow socks all have a little star at the northern part of the doll. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much, Norma. You're welcome.